leaf vac was sitting on the um, truck lengthways and then also it was sitting on a smaller pallet toward the tractor end and I was really concerned about it tipping forward off of the pallet so I'm taking some extra measure here to try to get a feel of how the uh, package that the DR is contained in is uh, fitting on that pallet and I was hoping that I was picking up the engine end of the package because I knew that that would be heavier and would help to balance the vacuum toward the tractor and keep it from tipping forward off of the pallet. So for that reason I'm taking some uh, little extra caution here raising and lowering the package again just to see how it is uh, it is behaving on that second pallet because I did not want it to tip forward and tip off on the uh, on the ground so made it okay it seemed to be uh, loaded okay enough to be able to maintain balance and get it off the truck and then headed on down to the shed where I'll be working on it and assembling it. I was removing all the packaging and making sure that all the pieces to the leaf and lawn vac was included in the uh, in the contents. I thought if most of the major things were there I could just uh, maybe settle up on the minor things later such as uh, some of the hardware and smaller items that could be shipped to me later. These smaller pieces of 2x4 will certainly come in handy later on as you'll see in the video.
I believe that's as far as I'm going to go with it this afternoon as far as unpacking. I just wanted to make sure that most of the major items were here. So there you have it for today, folks. I'll uh, probably start putting this together tomorrow afternoon and maybe be able to use it a little bit Saturday. We've got rain coming in Saturday night, so hopefully I can get it going, get it started by uh, Saturday and be able to do some work with it. So we'll see. The power unit itself has its own set of wheels and this makes it convenient about moving it around and getting it out of the way in storage time in the winter you can take it off the actual cart, take the canopy, the collector off of the cart and use the cart as a uh, utility trailer but being able to roll the power head away is a real convenience. Here I'm getting ready to install the axle brackets and install the axle and the wheels onto the actual cart itself.
Okay, this is what the collector looks like assembled and on the cart. And the reason that I did not film this is because it is a job to assemble this collector bagging. In fact, I had to call for reinforcements last night or had to recruit Jimmy to come out and help me and we worked for quite a while to get this in the frame that it is in. And the reason for that is because it is such a tight fit and according to the instructions on the installation video it has to be that way and it is supposed to be that way. But let me just walk around here and show you just how tight it is. Like a drum. All this area, but all the other area, as you can see, is just extremely tight. Let me see if I can demonstrate Pulling the, uh, the dump lever, you can see it goes back, it's got two gas powered uh, pistons in under to raise it. Once you get it in this lowered position, come back to the back, lift up on the top, closing process is just the opposite, bring down the top, And with the two pistons underneath, this is a pretty good little task here to, uh, to get it to close. But, once you get it closed, uh, it's pretty substantial. Now you might ask which uh, version of the uh, DR material collection unit this is but it's the XL Pro it's got 11.7 horsepower engine on it it's electric start this is the top of the line of the uh, DR lawn and leaf vacuum systems you notice it's got fuel wheels on it for more stability because I think when this is loaded this will hold somewhere around 321 gallons, I believe, is, uh, is what is listed. I might just show you here. We do have to, uh, when we dump it, we do have to come back and put that over that like that.
have it folks. I think I'll wrap this video up. You can probably hear the rain on the top of the greenhouse. We were able to get out and just try the uh, DR lawn and leaf vacuum and uh, I was very pleased with it. I want to thank you for joining us on the video today. Certainly do appreciate it. Be sure if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Leave a comment down below. You might have a comment on the uh, DR Lawn and Leaf Vac. Thank you so much again for joining us on this video today. I hope to see you the next time. Have a great one, folks. This is Larry. I'll see you. Bye-bye.